What's up, YouTubers? This is Hipster911 coming at you with my EDC this time. Um, for those of you who don't know, the acronym EDC is Everyday Carry. It is basically what you carry with you every day. Some items may or may not change like it does for my EDC. Um, but for the most part, what you see here on uh, in front of you in the camera is what I carry with me every single day. Again, the gun might rotate, the watch might rotate, and the knife will always rotate. Uh, but outside of that, I always have my car keys, uh, tools, flashlight, uh, wallet, chapstick, and of course the belt to hold this all up with. But um, I'll uh, later on in the video, maybe at the end of the video, I'll clip to um, myself wearing this stuff so you can see that even though it might look like a lot on the table, it's not really a lot when you're carrying it and kind of disperse it across my blue jeans. So, uh, but this is what I carry with me every single day. Uh, we'll start off with the firearm, of course. <clears throat> I am a, a proponent of the Second Amendment, and I definitely choose to exercise my two-way rights, so I always carry a firearm on me, firearm on me, wow, say that, that's a tongue twister. This is the Smith & Wesson Pro Series 3-inch uh, compact model. I've done some modifications to it, G10 grips, uh, I've done some polishing as you can see along uh, the firearm just to kind of make it stand out and uh, make it my own. I would like to upgrade to some night sights very, very, very soon, especially for a defensive carry pistol, you know, you carry at night, so it's nice to have those glow sights there uh, for target acquisition. So, um, But I carry that in the Galco Summer Comfort Holster. It is a comfortable holster. I like it very much. Um, this is new to me. I normally carry like a crossbreed type holster, so the clips are, are off a little bit more, and I think it, it kind of balances the pistol a little bit more than this one does. Uh, but I do like this holster. It's very comfortable, and uh, so I like that. So um, with, with that being said, <clears throat> this pistol does rotate in the... Um, when we get into like fall and, 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 and kind of like the cooler, warmer months, I like carrying this when we get into the, the summertime. I definitely like carrying a smaller pistol like maybe my shield, um, you know, with a spare mag. I always carry this one with a spare mag. This, I, I hide the spare mag in a, an old Victorinox um, belt pouch. I've moved my Victorinox to my EDC pack. Um, so I carry the magazine here in plain sight. Nice covered up. It's uh, quick to access on my waist, and I like because it ride. I like because it rides nice and close to the body. It doesn't have like those Kydex belt loops that pulls it away from the body. It keeps it nice and tight and close. So, I like that. But I always carry a spare mag. Um, and then in uh, you know deep carry summer when it's hot, 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 and I'm wearing very minimal clothing, shorts and a t-shirt. And, you know, depending where I'm going, sometimes I just want to throw a bodyguard in my in my shorts and my cargo pants pocket. So this is a bodyguard 380. This one is the uh, with the Crimson Tracer laser, although I never use it. But I got a fantastic deal on the pistol, so I couldn't turn it down to pass it away. I did upgrade this to XS uh, standard dot sights. Um, so this is an awesome little pistol that rides in a DeSantis uh, pocket holster. And this can also, because of the texture and how grippy it is, you can also ride this in the waistband if you don't want to stick it in your pocket and it doesn't move. So, very happy with that pistol. That's an awesome little pistol in 380. Um, a lot of people, you know, don't care for those. Me, it's been awesome. I have over 500 rounds through that pistol, and it has been extremely reliable. So, I, uh, I'll go with that. <clears throat> so, uh, outside of the pistol, my next favorite uh, item to carry is a knife. Um, I think you should always have a uh, really good solid knife on you and it doesn't have to be the most expensive knife I have a couple of budgets that I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, this particular one here is a quartermaster generally two. This is a um, It's still a production knife. It's not like a custom knife at all. I mean there is only according to uh, This if you can see there uh, There's a hundred of these made this is number 74 of a hundred But what's awesome about this knife if you've never seen them before they're popular on hot on Instagram um but the um, the mechanism here is made to let me get that in focus is made to um, mimic the suspension of a Formula One racer. So that actually acts as the locking mechanism once the blade is open and your grip is in place. There is no way that that knife or that blade is going to come down folding on your hand because it's all held in with your grip. So this is an awesome knife. Um, the opening and closing mechanism on this is kind of unique. You can open it this way and close it this way. It's a spring action on that. You can see the spring in there, right? Uh, so you can close it and open it like that. Or um, 
<clears throat> you can use the uh, finger flipper there with your index finger. So, um, but again, this isn't uh, the cheapest knife. This is probably about 350, 300 right around there. But it's the newest knife in my collection. So it's the one that rides in my pocket right now because I love messing around with knives. But let me tell you something. Um, if you want to carry a knife with you every day and you don't want to break the bank, there's a lot of great options out there. This is the Ontario Rat One. This has a full frat, uh, flat, full flat, flat. <laughs> this has a full flat grind on the blade. Uh, awesome for slicing and just kind of everyday use. Um, super, super knife for 20 bucks. You can find these knives for $20 solid knife. This is a liner lock knife. Um, but it is smooth opening, as you can see, and it's just super comfortable. I have very large hands, um, and this fits in my hand really, really nicely. Very comfortable. Nice, uh, solid jimping up top here for a, a, a nice, a really nice grip. So that's a great folder, uh, budget folder for $20. I highly, highly recommend the Ontario Rat 1. It's just a super knife for the price. If I'm not carrying that at work, you know, I uh, at work I use my knife a lot, so I don't really want to jack this one up. But again, it's the newest one, so I can't, I'm carrying it now. But I generally carry some budget folders with me. If I don't have the Ontario Rat One, I definitely like my uh, Kershaw Cryo. This knife is awesome. This is a frame lock knife. Super, super lock up on this. It is just um, an awesome knife overall. Um, it's, it's a bit heavier than the Ontario right one and a bit heavier than most of my knives. But again, for a $20 budget knife, 20 to 30 bucks, you can find these knives just super awesome. Very slim, uh, thin, and it's just very comfortable in the hand. Um, so that's a great option for a budget knife. Now, um, I have kind of, it's more expensive, um, version of this. This is a Rick Hinderer design, but so is my zero tolerance, zero five fifty. Um, and if you notice, they're kind of uh, very, very similar knives, except the thickness, of course. This is a titanium with a G10. Um, you could tell that they were both designed by Rick Hinder. They're very, very similar, except $20, about, I don't know, $200, $250 for something like this. Um, but, again, I like uh, all kinds of knives from budget-friendly to kind of more expensive all uh, production knives. My other couple favorite uh, knives are the Spydecos. I love the Paramilitary 2s. Super light knife um, and just awesome overall to play with. I love it. Uh, again, full flat grind on both of these. Uh, this just a, it's a great knife. I don't know, for $100, I don't know of a better knife than the, Spy than the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Please leave your comments down below if there's a better knife in that $100 range. I'm sure there are plenty. For me, I love the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 for, again, around $100. You really can't beat these knives. They're just super awesome, very comfortable, and lightweight to carry. In the winter months, I like carrying a little bit of a bigger knife, like a defensive knife, something like this Spartan by Cold Steel. Um, awesome defense, self-defense knife. It has the wave feature on it. I don't know what Cold Steel calls it, but uh, it has like that wave-type feature where um, it flips right out of your pocket and deploys um, by itself as you pull it out. So the Spartan is awesome. If you can fit it in your pockets, why not go with a cold steel uh, large Espada? I'm just kidding, guys. At this point, I'm just messing around with you. But hey, while we get that one out, why don't we just bring out its bigger brother, the XL Espada. Woo-wee! Yeah, try fitting that in your pockets. Just kidding. I would never carry this. But it's a hell of a conversation piece, and it looks cool as hell. So anyway... Back to the gear review. Um, so outside of the knife, you know, I always carry a watch on me. This is a Sumto Core. Love the uh, altimeter barometer compass watch. Uh, this is just a very durable, durable watch. I have switched the band out because this this was the yellow crush version. So it came with a yellow band and it just screamed, look at my watch. And uh, I just kind of wanted to subdue it a little bit. So I went with the black leather with the white stitching. And I think it just complements the watch nicely. But I always, always, always have a watch on me. If it's not the Sumto Core and I want to dress it up a little bit more, uh, then I do love Invicta watches. I might go with my Sub Aqua Noma 3. Um, awesome watch. Or my Invicta Coalition Forces. Again, awesome, awesome, very rugged uh, built watches. And lastly, I might go with my um, my Bolt Zeus. Uh, this is the automatic version by Invicta. So I have a very vast watch, knife, and gun collection. But these are some of the more popular ones that I love to wear. Uh, kind of on a regular basis or if I'm going to a meeting instead of just my regular work day. 
or out to dinner with the wifey. Uh, so that's that's that. Uh, wallet. This is the Travex uh, Axis uh, wallet. I love this wallet. I have a review on this. I'll try to leave the link down below. I'm kind of new to this whole uh, YouTube production video thing. So if I can't figure it out, I'm sorry. But uh, definitely follow my channel and you'll see the other reviews that I have. You'll see the review on the Travex Axis wallet. It's awesome. Uh, my phone, I'm recording on it now, but it is the uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S7. This is the case for it, just to kind of have an idea of the size. This generally always rides in my back right pocket, front left pocket. Um, I always have a Leatherman multi-tool. I love multi-tools. I think they have a great use. I use this thing literally, literally every single day I use this multi-tool. If it's not for the pliers, it's for the screwdriver in it. If it's not for the screwdrivers in it, it might be for the scissors. It might be uh, a quick access to a knife so I don't have to pull out this guy or a bigger knife uh, and scare people off. So I always use this and the reason why I love this so much is because of the belt clip. I used to carry uh, a multi-tool in this thing on my waist or on my hip, and it's just, you know, with a spare mag and that and the gun on the other side. It was too much. So um, I love this. It's about $30. Clips right into my um, left pocket right beside my flashlight, and that's where it rides every single day. So I love the Leatherman Wingman and also my left pocket uh, for a light source. I carry the Olight S10R Baton 2. This is their rechargeable model. Uh, awesome light. It goes from, um, I think they call it moonlight, all the way up to 600 lumens of light. Super, super bright. And it also has uh, strobe as well. Uh, awesome features. It has a magnetic butt cap, so you can stick that to anything magnetized for hands-free. It's got a belt clip here. That's also reversible. You can clip it to your the bill on your hat. Uh, it's got an, uh, a little red light indicator here. When your battery's running low, it will turn on. And it also has an O-ring inside, so it starts to glow up as it charges. At night, if you drop your flashlight or misplace it, you can see the little uh, ring glowing on the inside. So... This is awesome. This uses CR123 rechargeable batteries. You can also use regular CR123 uh, batteries in here. Um, you know, if uh, if maybe you forgot to charge this one and you need one on a fly and you keep an extra one in your pack or whatever it is. Uh, so that's that's that. Um, I also always carry chapstick on me. Uh, summer, just to protect it from the sun. And winter, just to protect it from chapping from the cold. <clears throat> Uh, I generally, uh, for work, I'm not allowed to carry a firearm on my person, so that is not with me while I'm at work. So I do like to have something that kind of gives me a little bit of an, adva uh, an advantage, whether it's uh, a knife or a strike tool such as this, which also doubles as a pen. So no problem there, right? Hey, it's just a pen. Look at me writing on paper with my pen. But this rides in my polo shirt. Uh, up in the uh, the button area by the collar and so I can if I needed to I can grab it out of my shirt real quick and I could deploy it as a uh, Striking tool it does have a ceramic uh, tip on the end for uh, glass breaking or for some serious um, Striking if you if you need it, so I do like to carry a um, that on me uh, at all times, I also have a paracord uh, bracelet and, you know, just to have something on the opposite side of my wrist. Uh, I kind of like uh, balance a little bit. So if I'm going to wear a watch, I will always wear a bracelet. And, f you know, if obviously the paracord is great to have on you at all times. You can cut it up or unwind it and then you have um, paracord on you. If you uh, if you need to tie anything down for an emergency, otherwise it just sits there. I do carry paracord in my pack as well. So if I don't have to tap into that one. I won't. Um, so that's what that looks like. <clears throat> I always have a lighter on me as well. I'm not a smoker, um, but I'm uh, I'm a firm believer that you should always have a source of fire or even primitive lighting, I guess. You know, not a flashlight, but just uh, light. Just in case, you never know. This doesn't take up any space. This is a Zippo. This one came in in my um, Battle Box EDC monthly subscription. Um, this last one happened to be the EDC box, so I did get a... Um, uh, striking pen uh, and the Zippo lighter so that carries in my um, I guess it's the little watch pocket in the blue jeans up on the right hand side um, so it slips in there and really takes up no room at all so um, outside of that um, what's holding this all up basically is my EDC Cobra belt this is by Blue Alpha Gear awesome uh, Cobra Belt. This uh, it's very very stiff. This is a one and a half inch uh, belt. 
I did have a, or still do have, an inch and three quarter by Boxer Tactical, but um, I have a little bit of a, well, I have a, I have a gut. I'm a heavier guy. I'm 5'7", 250 pounds, and I got a belly, and the inch and three quarter was just a little, a little uncomfortable for me. So I went to inch and a half, and I find that it works just as well holds everything up it's a very rigid belt as you can see it doesn't have a kydex lining like my boxer tactical does but i kind of like it because again it's very stiff but it's flexible at the same time so it kind of moves and bends and folds with my rolls <laughs> hey boy. so anyway that's what holds it all up i love it uh, great belt highly recommend blue alpha uh, gear belt this is not going to break your bank i think i paid about 80 dollars for my boxer tactical this one ran me about 40 bucks, so half the price, just as good a belt as far as I'm concerned, stitching and everything, this is just an awesome belt. I've been using this now for the past, I'd say five, six months, and it's been awesome. Boxer Tactical I've had for a couple years, that's held up just as well, so, you know, depending on which way you want to go, that's perfectly fine, and entirely up to you, so, but this is my EDC stuff, again, um, you know, I, it looks like a lot of stuff, but I'm going to, I'm going to clip to, um, <clears throat> to me wearing all this stuff and you'll see how nicely it all, uh, it all hides and conceals. Um, so thanks for watching. Keep your comments, uh, or, or add some comments down below. Please like and share my channel. Subscribe. That's, uh, that's very, um, that'd be great if you could do that. I'd appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys next time around. Thanks so much for, uh, watching and stay safe. God bless. I'm going to roll some, uh, a quick clip right now of me, uh, wearing the stuff. You can see how it conceals. Thanks a lot. All right, everyone, so like I said, I was gonna cut to a clip of me wearing all of those EDC items that I just had on the table. And uh, like I said in the review, it looks like a lot of stuff on the table, but once you actually have it on uh, your body, it uh, or my body anyway, um, you know, it, it, it pretty much, it's, it's all concealed. Uh, there's you know, nothing you can point at to say, oh, he's got a gun, oh, he's got this, he's got that. You know, who doesn't carry a knife with them? I mean, I think uh, everybody does, or their car keys or, or their wallet. So that's, all that stuff is there. <clears throat> but you don't see, you know, the essential stuff that I feel I need to protect my life, the life of my family or, uh, you know, my uh, family members or friends or whatever. So, um, you know, on this side, uh, I carry the uh, the three inch Smith & Wesson Pro. That's again in the Galco Summer Comfort holster. I really like the cant that the holster provides um, because it helps hide the butt end of the pistol from printing. So, you know, once the shirt is down and over that, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not printing. I don't have this big gun hanging out or off my body. It, uh, it all conceals pretty nicely. So also on the right side, like I said, I have my, um, my knife. It can, uh, that'll, that'll rotate generally, uh, from the general Lee, <laughs> it's funny from the general Lee to just about anything else. Uh, I decided to carry, um, uh, for that day. Um, also I have my key bar. I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention this in the tabletop review, but, um, for those of you who don't know what a key bar is, this is a key organizer. Uh, it just helps keep all your keys organized and stored in one place so you have quick access to them and they're not digging into your pockets or anything. You can customize these. Um, and a, a ton, they have a ton of different add-ons for these key bars. All I have on mine is a USB hard drive to keep important, important documents, uh, quick access to that, and uh, a set of tweezers. Uh, those come in handy a lot more than you think. Plus, I don't actually have a set of tweezers in the multi-tool I carry, so um, you know I have it in here. Uh, deep pocket carry clip and this is the titanium version but everything stays folded up nice and attached in one spot and I don't have keys jumbling all up in my pocket and digging into my leg all day so that gets attached right up here and then uh, like I said I generally always carry a tube of chapstick on me to protect um, you know my lips summer and winter in the uh, watch pocket up here I carry the uh, the lighter Again, it doesn't take up any space, but it's there if I need it or if a buddy needs a light for a smoke. There it is. Um, so that's that's there. <clears throat> and on this side, I have the Leatherman Wingman. I have the Olight S10 Baton. And then in that pocket is where I carry my wallet. I always carry it in my front pocket. Um, and that's the Trayvax Axis. And what I love about this wallet is that it also has this piece of paracord that hangs off, which helps cinch everything together and keep it all tight. But the cool thing about that is I don't have to reach all the way into my pocket to grab the wallet. I can just reach in, grab the paracord, and out comes the wallet. So that's convenient, and that's comfortable rides there. Uh, like I mentioned, I like carrying that spare mag in the Victorinox pouch right here. Um, it's very slim and tight to the body. As you can see, it doesn't bulge or bulk or anything. 
Uh, so that's very comfortable to carry on that side and it's quick access to the magazine uh, if I ever would need a reload. Uh, I hope to God I never do, never have to draw my weapon, I would hope, but you never know. So I'd rather be prepared and ready for uh, that possible encounter than uh, dump out my, you know, eight rounds and then be done. So, um, or then holding it all up, like I said, is the Blue Alpha uh, Tactical EDC belt with the Cobra buckle. Um, very, very comfortable, holds everything in place. Sunto core watch and paracord bracelet. Um, you know, like I said, walking down the street, I look like any other guy. Um, except for obviously the gun shirt, which I'm just wearing for uh, video purposes. I generally try to stay away from wearing anything that screams, hey, uh, I, I love guns or I have a gun or whatever. Everybody's different. Um, you know, I just prefer not to have the attention, which is also why I conceal carry and I don't open carry. Um, so, but anyway, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, stay sharp, stay armed. God bless.